Hi, Chad here with Purple Collar Life. You can see I've got the forks on the front. The Artillion fork system is still attached to the John Deere tractor because I've got some more things I want to do with this. I uh, wanted to try some things out. So first thing I want to do is move the forks in because the first experiment will need them as close as possible. So you can see here I've got the forks in on the farthest in settings. That's about 10 inches apart. If you were to go to the widest settings, it's about 40 inches apart. So I'll take you down to the end of the driveway and show you what I wanted to try with these forks uh, ever since I got them. So you can see I'm out here at the end of the driveway. And ever since this driveway was made over 20 years ago, this big rock's been here. I've always wanted to tip it up and uh, see what it looked like standing on end here at the end of the driveway. But I've tried every way I know how and I can't get this thing tipped up. I tried the bucket on to lift it and twist it. I tried uh, with a three point hitch getting underneath it and lifting it, but I can't get it to move. And I'm not sure the forks will be able to do it either, but I'm wondering if I get the forks just underneath here enough, if I'll be able to start tipping it up. Uh, so I just want to give it a try. Like I say, we may not be able to do it, but I want to give it a try and see if we can get it tipped. Can't lift it. So even with the forks, I still just can't get enough power lift out of the tractor to tip this up. I was hoping, but gonna need a bigger tractor. Okay, the second thing I wanted to try for a while and the bucket wasn't able to do it. We've got some sections of tree here across an old road that I'd like to try to get cleared out. They're no good for firewood, so no sense in even messing with them. But even with the bucket, I couldn't really shove them around. So I want to see with the forks if I can just kind of lift and push them out of the way a little bit and get this area cleared out. I'm going to move the forks back out wider for this. Let's give it a try. You can see here the front tires are pretty buried. It's actually a lot more wet in here than I thought. So we're able to get this 
tree moving, but the ground just given out from us. So we'll just have to do this when this is a little drier. So I was able to get underneath this section of log with the forks, but it's so wet that my front tires really started slipping. My back tires were starting to dig in a little bit and I didn't want a chance of getting stuck. So I'll leave that there until it dries out a little bit. I've got another log on this side I'll give a try. Look at that, no problem. But still really wet. Yeah, it's just going to be too wet, unfortunately, but you can see with the forks, I can easily lift this big, huge piece of tree. Does a really good job, but we're going to leave it here for now. Push it a little further back in the woods. Looks like there's also a rock here, maybe. Yep. That's good to know because we wouldn't want to hit that with the brush hog. Just give it a little push back here so we can see it next time. And then we're starting to sink here in the mud, so I'm going to dump that bunch of dirt off the forks back out of here before we get stuck. It's quite a bit more wet and muddy in here than I thought it would be. I did get this tree pushed back a little further, and I discovered this big rock. So we'll come back for those uh, when this either freezes and it's solid in the winter or next summer. No hurry to get this stuff. It's Like I say, it won't be good firewood. Just wanted to kind of test out the forks and see if I could move some of these trees. I do have a lot of trees around when we built the building where we just push the trees. Uh, it'd be nice to get some of those lifted out of there. It'd be a lot easier to cut at them if they were down in the backyard. But I have been whittling away at them where they sit. But that might be another good use for the forks. So we've still got the rest of the apple tree in here. This is actually a crab apple tree that was beside the apple tree we pushed over that time we bent the bucket. Um, I'd like to get this out of here. It's still attached with the stump, and I could take a chainsaw and cut it off, but then we're dealing with the stump too. So I'm curious if the tractor with the artillion forks would be able to lift that stump out with this part of the tree. Then I can chunk this up, get rid of some of this junk. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so it'd be a great day to burn this. Uh, this crab apple stuff, I just want to get out of here because these things would go right through your tires on a lawnmower or even the tractor, so i got to be really careful. There's part of the top of that crab apple tree right here, and you can see I skipped this area when I was brush hogging because I didn't want a chance getting those crab apple thorns into the tires of the Ford 8 end tractor. So again, with the forks being well out in front of the tractor and 36 inches in front of the fork frame, I should be able to grab this, pick it up, and move it to the fire circle uh, without having to drive through this, and then we'll maybe let this sit for a little bit, let those thorns rot, and then next time, next time we go to brush hog, this shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that worked really well. That way I don't need to drive through there. Just lift that top out. You can see we've still got quite a mess in here and that stuff is, is a pain to deal with. So we're going to see if we can use the forks, lift this up out, get some of this cleaned up. It would be a perfect job for a grapple. I'm going to try to just put the forks underneath this crab apple tree, fill in the dirt a little bit here. You can see I went ahead and grabbed the ranger. 
and I got the 271 Farm Boss. I'll cut this off at the stump. Might as well chunk this up a little bit. Some of that might be burnable, at least for the outside fire. Yeah, so these will be good just outside burning pieces of wood. They're still really wet. But that should allow us to get in here and grab this with the forks. Probably these other tops too and just add them to the stack. Some of this I can just grab by hand. Save me driving through here. See, it's a tangled mess in there. There we go, now we're getting it. One of the really cool things about the Artillion system is you can get that top grapple link that works right with the forks, but you've got to have the third function hydraulics, which I do not have. So we can get another chunk of this mess out of here. If you've ever handled this crab apple, you know if you can avoid handling it by hand, it's absolutely worth it. So you can see we've got a good stack going there in the fire pit. And we still have all this to clean up. I've been walking through here trying to pick up little pieces like this because these thorns will poke right through the tires of my tractor. And you can see they're directly on the path of me getting to the next bunch of stuff. I do have tubes in these tires. And I've had them replaced, I can't tell you how many times. And I'm sure it's because of things like these crab apple thorns. stack's getting pretty tall here. So I'm going to dump the piece I have on here, see if I can crush it down a little bit with the forks. It's another advantage of the forks being nice and far in front of the tractor. So they can go in there and crush it down. You can see here my arms are up as high as they can go. We'll get that dumped off of there. Flatten the forks out a little bit and see if we can crush this down. Oh yeah, that works great. It's looking much better in there, but there's still quite a bit that we can get to. Wanted to give you a status update. So you can see I've got the fire going there. Quite a stack on the fire, it's a good fire. This is 
that little bit of wood I cut up off the tree that I said will be for just burning in the outside burn circle. And there's the area we were working on. Hopefully you can tell it looks a lot better. There's still, I think about seven stumps in there. There's actually three stumps right here. There's a stump over here. And then a couple throughout there, they're mostly rotted down, but still too tough to get out. So at some point I gotta figure out a way to get those stumps out. And then this area will be cleaned up but the forks worked good and I had to use a lot of walking through and picking up limbs after I used the forks. But again, you can see we've got a good fire going here. I had to use the forks a couple times. So we've got the tractor right here beside the fire. Had to use the forks a couple times to squish it down because you know this stuff kind of rabbit holes in the center and burns underneath and then the top would never burn. So having the forks to push it down worked great. Like I said, it is supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'll probably be doing an inside project tomorrow, but one of those things I need to get done is get the mower deck off the tractor for winter time. No sense in hauling it around through the snow. Putting these forks on is so easy now. Still need some wearing in, but easy to do. Three. There we go.